Hello and welcome. My name is Ashish Ahuja. I am an applications engineer with Texas Instruments. Today, I will introduce you to the Quick Start Internet of Things application, which comes pre programmed on the brand new EK TM4C 1294XL board, also known as the Tiva C Series Connected Launchpad. The connected launchpad comes with a quick start guide, a retractable Ethernet cable, a micro USB cable, which we will use to get started with Internet of Things application. The source code for this application can be found in the TivaWare for C series at the location shown on the screen. To get started, let us first connect the launchpad to the Ethernet switch or the router using the Ethernet cable provided in the kit. Next, plug in the micro USB cable into the connector U22 to power the launch pad. Make sure that the power select jumper JP1 is at ICDI position. Plug in the other end of the cable into the USB port on a computer or a wall charger. The power LED D0 will light up, indicating that the board has been powered on. Ethernet activity LEDs D3 and D4 will light up and flash, indicating that the Ethernet link status and activity has been established. Now, we will visit ti.exercise.com and create an account there. Click on the Sign Up Now link on the screen. Provide your information on the screen that follows and click on the Create Account button. You should receive an email. Visit the link provided in the email to activate your Exosite account. Coming back to the Exosite portal, locate step two and click on the link to add a new device to your portal. From the drop down list, select EK TM4C 1294XL connected launchpad. Then click continue. Enter the MAC address on your connected launchpad. It is printed on the label at the back of the launchpad. Enter device name which can be any string and your location. Click continue. With that, you have enabled your launchpad with a client identifier key, also known as CIK. Now click on home to go back to the portal homepage. Now you will see your device enumerated in the device list. The device status must be active for you to be able to use the quick start application. Click on the device name to open the device dashboard and view device properties. Once you click on the device name in the device list, the device portal will appear on the screen. The device portal shows control widgets such as toggle switches, graphs, etc. to connect, communicate and control the connected launchpad. For example, you can see the toggle switches to turn LEDs D1 and D2 on and off. On the right hand of the screen, you can see the status indicator which shows whether your launchpad is online or offline. The portal also shows the uptime, number of clicks as well. The temperature is displayed numerically as well as graphically using the graph widget. You can scroll down and explore other widgets also. If your launchpad is offline, you might have to check your network's firewall or proxy settings. Please go to the link shown on the screen for troubleshooting tips. And please refer to step 4 in the quick start guide to perform further debugging using virtual serial COM port. If your device is behind a proxy, connect to the virtual serial COM port and type command set proxy help in the terminal window for configuration information. You can send email alerts from the cloud upon receiving triggers from your connected launchpad also. There are plenty of widgets you can use to make your cloud connected applications cool and interactive. For more examples, please download TivaWare for C series from the TI website. Thanks for watching and have fun exploring ideas with a connected launchpad. What will you connect?